New biosecurity courses offered at UF through the Entomology and Nematology Department. If you're interested in animals, entomology, and plants, then these courses are for you. Exotic species and biosecurity issues, consequences of biological invasion, and risk assessment management. What is biosecurity? Basically, the definition is protection of the economy, the environment, and I guess health of living things from pests, diseases, and bioterrorism. I think most people think of biosecurity as almost exclusively bioterrorism, when in fact, it's much broader than that. Exotic species and biosecurity issues. The Exotic Species and Biosecurity Issues course provides students with a fun and interactive way to learn about emerging invasive species and agricultural biosecurity. Students interested in plants, animals, and the environment should take the course. A student perspective on the Exotic Species and Biosecurity Issues course. With my goal of becoming a food animal veterinarian, I took a Biosecurity Issues course in order to learn more about foreign animal diseases and animal regulations. Why should students take consequences of biological invasions? The, the most important thing is that we are living in a world that's basically a global world. And we're all dealing with um, biological invasions. And I think the course that um, I'm currently teaching is focusing on not just the U.S. In fact, with very little emphasis on the United States. We're focusing more on other countries. If the University of Florida is trying to promote itself as a kind of a global university and having global impact, the only way you can get a handle on that is to get a, a general idea of what's going on in a lot of these other countries. A biosecurity course from another student perspective. I've been working with exotic plant removal for probably 12 years or so with my business. And now as a doctoral candidate in the Doctor of Plant Medicine program, uh, an elective in biosecurity and exotic was a way I thought I could uh, kind of fill in some of the gaps of uh, how exotics are managed from a more regulatory point of view. Um, I've been working on the ground removal and doing public education and training with homeowners, but the biosecurity course provided a nice umbrella picture of how the different state and federal agencies work together, how they've got to come up with good, solid, sound information, develop partnerships with the public, and how all those rules are, are put into place. Why should students take risk assessment management? Well, first of all, it's the only course of its kind in the world. It's taught by Dr. Stephanie Bloom, and she is an outstanding instructor and an expert in the field. Anyone who wants to work in a regulatory capacity in agriculture would benefit by this. What careers coincide with risk assessment management knowledge? Really any career that involves managing pests. But this course is directed at the regulatory community. So we have agencies of our federal government, state government, and even international that would want people to be their employees if they had taken this kind of training. Examples are the United States Department of Agriculture, uh, the Environmental Protection Agency, Customs and Border Patrol, of the uh, Department of uh, Homeland Security, and even the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization. So anyone who is involved in trade or in a trade organization would benefit by this course.